Today I'm going to show you some basics of web designing, the first part of it. Um, there's not much really to H, you know, designing HTML. There's a lot of editors out there that will do everything that you really need it to do. But um, I wanted to make this first tutorial. It's real basic um, on some, you know, two or three ta elements and basically take it from there. So let me go ahead and switch over and you can watch the tutorial. Okay, let's get started. Um, today I'm gonna sh today we're gonna go through here. We're just gonna go through each element as we go and I'm gonna try to be as good as possible with this. Um, so let's uh what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna basically show uh, three elements, three things you see you can you know see with HTML. Now um, you always start off with the HTML opening element and closing element. Um, this is very important, um, you know, for etiquette and to do it right. The one thing about HTML is it is forgiving. So if you don't do it, the page might still work, but the coding might be wrong. So that's all with that. Next thing you might notice, I'm kind of an inventor. Um, something. I learned from my teacher indenting is the best. When you get into six, seven hundred lines of code, if you don't indent, sometimes it just you look at it and you just wanna ugh, like what is going on? So after opening the HTML element, we need the head element, the opening and closing. What the head is for is basically stuff that won't necessarily display but is valuable. Now there are some of the stuff that will, that's why I'm going to show the title. The title basically goes in the top title bar when you um, go and open it in a web browser and the blue title bar up on top. If you're doing tab browsing it'll be in the tab. It'll show. So I just put in there. So that's all I'm really going to show in this tutorial with the head element. Uh, future tutorials I'll get in a little bit more depth with the head element. Next we're going to, so we're going to close the head element and now we're going to open the body element. Um, now what I'm going to do is any time, any tutorial, you're going to show you um, the hello world, which you've kind of seen that. Heading tags go from heading 1 all the way to heading 6. 1 being the largest, 6 being the smallest. Honestly, I've never really used 5 or 6. Um, I use 4 and 3. One's pretty huge. If you want a kind of a huge title, that's kind of perfect for it. Um, one thing, one hint I will give you with HTML, whenever you have an open and close element when you're doing it, Make sure to view them both at the same time. That will definitely help. But when we view the page, you're going to see the difference between these. Next, what I want to show you is a comment. Comments, some sites, depending on the site, a comment is a helpful thing. Some, it's just for your purposes. Um, some people will put, like, if they're giving a template to someone, they'll create a comment that says, this area is for this type of content. So, right here I have a comment. The comments will not display on the web page. You will not see that. So, now, um, next thing I'm going to show you is the paragraph tab. One thing I like about a paragraph tab is it gives you space, it, kind of like the H tags do, it gives space between it, between the bottom and the top. Um, so it kind of spaces it out a little bit. So that is going to show you. Now, whenever I have a multiple line for P tag, what I do is I have, you notice how the, the element. Uh, tag was, uh, you probably notice I've been using the word tag. Tag is the old term that was used. The new term is now element. If you have an element that's spreading over multiple lines, what you want to do is you want to do the opening and closing like this, and then go to the next line and do a tab and tab in. It's very nice. Now, the pro 
program I'm using, which is very nice, which is called Edit Plus, you'll notice with a multiple line, you notice after 14, there's a space here, and then there's 15. That, I really, really, really love. It helps you. If you're using something like Notepad, you won't have these nice things, and it can become very difficult for you to see stuff like that. Um, so then, you know, here's the closing element of body, and here's the closing element of HTML. So you kind of see I start off here, I tab in, and then I tab in again for each nested. If I were going to nest something inside of one of these, and like here, um, you would see me do another tab. Tabbing is perfect. Um, I will give you an example. I'm helping someone out with their website. They had a web designer, and they just, they didn't do anything. Um, they, they just had it all to the left. I took a look at this code, and I was like, what is this? So, tabbing is very, 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 very important. Um, so, what, without further ado, let's browse the page. As you can see, there's the H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, and H6. Like I said, I mean, these two, I really don't see. This, I take this as a bold of this. Now you notice, look, there's no space, there's nothing showing that there's even a comment or any text between the H6 and the paragraph tab. So, well that's just going to wrap it up for my first HTML tutorial. So there you go. Um, again, was it, wasn't too difficult whatsoever. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel um, for future tutorials. And... Um, post comments if you wish, anything that you might want to see or change. Okay, thank you.